What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Vault Reviews, where we give you our input on some albums you should check out and maybe some you should avoid. Um, flying solo today. Brent's not with us, but uh, my name is Zan Morning. I'm here to give you the review on today's album, which is With Sympathy by Ministry. It's a 1983 release. Most people probably know Ministry by the the song NWO and some other songs later. You know, they're kind of a metal industrial band, but this album is definitely not that. I was a little hesitant to check it out because uh, I heard it and I saw the year on it and I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know what this is going to be about. And sure enough, it was not what I was expecting. And like I said, it's a synth pop new wave, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, this is their debut album. It peaked at 94 on the Billboard 200. It's a total of nine tracks, uh, which I think is pretty solid. I mean, any more of this kind of stuff might be a little bit of overkill, but um, this album's pretty solid, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first track is Effigy, and it's clear what you're getting, synth pop, but you notice that it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit harder. You know, it's not so kind of happy-go-lucky dance music. I mean, you could dance to it, I guess, but, you know, a lot of the synth pop stuff has this, I don't know, this a uh, little bit more happy tone to it. This this is a little bit darker, a little bit heavier, like I said. And you can notice the English accent, and Later on, you realize that Al Jorgensen does not have an English accent, so it's clearly faked, uh, we're assuming. So that's something that's definitely interesting to note. Next track is Revenge. You know, that's one of the main singles on this. Uh, they had a video for it. Unlike Effigy, the first track on the album, uh, this definitely has a little bit more of a radio feel to it. It's a little bit easier to digest. It's a little bit catchier. I mean, a lot of these songs on here are catchy, but this one's pretty catchy. It, it, it kind of seems like it was written for radio, however... This is a really awesome song. I love it. Next up is actually one of my favorite songs, and that's I Wanted to Tell Her. It's got some awesome female vocals on it, and it's got more of a straight-up like dance feel to me. The, the groove is really good. The riff is really catchy. It's got some cool keyboard stuff in it. It's really, really memorable. It'll get stuck in your head, but that it's a good thing on this. Uh, next track was Work for Love. Uh, solid, nothing special. And then Here We Go is the next one, and that sounds a little bit more of the industrial sound. Uh, not really in-depth, but you can tell it, it sounds a little bit different and a little bit of what we would come to expect from ministry down the road. Uh, the rest of the album is pretty solid, just nothing special. Um, I think it kind of loses steam as it goes forward. Uh, you know, it starts off with a bang, and I would say about half the album is great songs. And then the second half, while they are good songs, they just kind of start tapering off a little bit. Not as catchy, not as memorable, not as, I guess, heavy, if you even want to call it that. You know, like I said, this is synth pop, but it's not your synth pop you would expect. Overall, it's a really solid album, though. Uh, it's a must-have if you like 80s music, you know, dance, synth pop, new wave, any of that stuff. Uh, kind of in vein of bands like Depeche Mode, New Order, Pet Shop Boys, Berlin, stuff like that. Um, this is something I listen to over and over again. Like I said, the second half of the album kind of loses steam for me, but the first half I listen to over and over and over again, literally. So on the vault star ratings, one star being the worst, five stars being the best, I'm going to give this a four. Like I said, it does keep coming back to me. These songs are memorable. I keep wanting to go back and listen to them even more. And then the more I listen to it, sometimes these other songs, I will just let them play and they kind of grow on me. And actually, I like this album even better than some of the later ministry stuff. I mean, the, you know, they, they they evolve. They're constantly evolving band. But this is definitely one of my favorite ministry albums. And I know that's kind of probably a shock for most people because most people like the heavier stuff of ministry. But like I said, I love synth pop. Maybe I'm partial to synth pop. But anyway, uh, yeah, with Sympathy by Ministry, definitely check this album out. It's great stuff. And that's it for today's show. If you want to contact us, you can send us an email, thevaultmusic1 at gmail.com. Hit us up on Twitter at thevaultmusic1, facebook.com slash thevaultrvws, thevaultreviews.podomatic.com, and our YouTube channel is The Vault Reviews. Thanks again for listening. See you later.